So Friday, we were talking about capacitors, which you know are two plates, conducting plates with charge plus and minus Q, and the capacitance is defined as the charge divided by the potential difference that develops between them. So if we have two capacitors with just air in between, we might call that C0. We were talking about what happens if you stick a dielectric material, which means an insulator, in between the plates, like this. So if we stick an insulator in here, we give it a dielectric constant K, again, plus and minus Q, and we try to figure out what does that do to the capacitance. So on Friday, we talked about it in terms of keeping the charge on each plate constant. And we found that the new capacitance was basically K, the dielectric constant, times the old capacitance. Dielectric constants are always greater than one, so the capacitance increases. However, capacitance is a property of just the object itself. It doesn't depend on the conditions you apply. So it should be true that that capacitance should also increase if we instead think about a battery holding the two plates at a constant potential difference, delta V. So we can draw it this way instead. So this is now a different condition where we have constant voltage difference rather than constant surface charge. And we want to explain and see if we get the same thing, that the capacitance goes up. This is what I completely botched the explanation on Friday, which is the purpose of this video, as well as to punish me. So, here we go. The first thing you want to think about is go ahead and make the plot of the potential versus distance. So that the gap between the plates is D in both cases. And here, when we have the things in air, we can make a real quick plot like this, where this is position zero, this is position D, this is V high, and this is V low, where there's the delta V is right there. So it would basically just drop as a line like that, and we know that E in the gap would be delta V over D. The magnitude would be delta V over D. So let's think about the same plot over here. So here we have D, here we have zero, here we have V high, and here we have V low. So we know when we put a dielectric in an electric field, it reduces the electric field. but we are going from potential V high to V low in the same D. The electric field in that gap has to actually be the same. It can't change. There's simply no way for it to change. Potential has to get from high to low over the same distance. Everything's uh, planar symmetry. It's going to go down straight. Pretty much it has to be the same thing that E and the gap has to be, again, delta V over D. So it would seem that if that didn't change, then why would the capacitance change? Everything seems the same. Well, something does change. Let's think about it microscopically for a minute. When we first set this up, uh, this had positive, uh, and this had negative. At some charge density on the surface, if you just take that Q and distribute it over the surface. So this one would have been about the same. about six charges on each one. And we know that when it, this uh, dielectric experiences that field, it'll become polarized to, to oppose that field. So it'll build up a few charges on its surface, maybe a few negatives on this side and a few positives on that side. And normally we would think of that as reducing the field, but we know it can't. It has to be delta V over D. So what's happening is that these, these surface charges can change. This battery is going to hold these at a constant potential no matter what it has to do, and it can give more charge if necessary. So what happens is more charge flows onto the plates to essentially compensate for the charge that was created by the polarization of the dielectric. So I'll put three more positives over here, three more negatives over there. So that compensates for those charges, so in the end you have essentially the same surface charge that created the original E gap. That's the fundamental difference. This is a constant delta V, charge can change. That's the difference. We can see if we can get there quantitatively. Can we, can we show that the capacitance will increase with the dielectric constant? And we can. What you have to think about is what would we need? What do we need E, I'll call it VAC, 
evac, meaning what potential do we need, or what uh, field do we need in the gap before we put in the dielectric to bring the value down to the value with, uh, with the dielectric. So if you remember, when you put a dielectric in an electric field, it uh, reduces the electric field by an amount, k. So it, it takes it from E0 to E0 over k. So the evac we would need would be k times delta V over D. We would need to make that because then when we insert the dielectric, it will reduce this by k, the k's will cancel and we'll be right where we need to be. Okay? So to make the plates have uh, what would be a vacuum field um, of k times delta V over D, you just need to increase the surface charges by k. So the sigmas that you need on the metal plates would be k times sigma naught, where sigma naught would be sort of this original value that gave you E gap as delta V over D. So essentially we have increased the charge by K. By the dielectric constant, so you can see if we increase the charge by the dielectric constant, just put a K here, then we will increase the capacitance to C naught. So there you go, that's what I meant to say Friday. I don't know what happened, okay? And now for the punishment. I've received many requests to teach you how to Dougie. And um, I usually ignore them, but apparently the word is out that I really do know how to do this, and it is my job to teach you, so I'm gonna teach you how to Dougie, okay? Okay. Here's how you Dougie. So you start out kind of standing, kind of like this, feet apart, and you got kind of your fists in the air like that. And then you come over here, we have a lot of room to Dougie, and one leg goes kind of like that, kind of like that, and, and this arm kind of comes up and over, and this one kind of down with your fists like that, and you kind of want your head to the side, kind of like that. And then you go back to the middle, and you come over here, and you just kind of switch sides. So this foot leg goes over like that, and then this one kind of comes over like that. Don't fall down. And then this fist kind of like that, and that fist like that, and then your head kind of to the side like that. And then you go back and forth like that. If it helps you, we can put some Dougie vectors on it like this, kind of down, and this kind of goes up, and these are kind of coming together. And we could put a Dougie potential surface on it, or an Equi Dougie surface on it, excuse me, like that. So that's the basics. I can go into more detail in future lectures if you think you need it. Won't be on the exam. <laughs>